we begin our trek homeward here at this magnificent golf course. This one puts a little fear into you, Frank. I'm looking at a par four, and it's almost 600 yards. Help. Help, you're going to need it, that's for sure. And one of the things they've done to help you is a, a big elevated tee, so that'll at least chew some of the yardage off. Uh, hopefully the prevailing breeze is also at your back, which might shorten that number up. Pretty generous fairway. Try and take those bunkers out of play with the big hefty club. And uh, when you get on the green, you're going to realise there's two greens here, Rich. 10 shares the same green as 13. Moving a little to the right of the flagstaff. Not too bad. It's about 23 feet away. He didn't hit the flagstick, but he still has a chance. Oh, he's going to love it. Great putt. Now we go to the 11th hole, and this is a par 5, but it's actually shorter than the par 4 10th. This one comes in at 530 yards, and, and more evidence of the kind of creativity by the award-winning design team of Patel and Duncan. Well, that's right. Patel really is, is known to be the shaper. He's the one that makes all those interesting shapes of the bunkers. For example, here, nipping it in the fairway, making driver almost too much club or very, very risky, plus the front bunker there. Now, this is a great par five. The reason why, it's reachable, it's tempting, but you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting on it. So from the rough, back to the fairway. That's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait, and at least now... He's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. How'd you like that strike? Uh, that was top of the tree. These putts keep the round together. Now eight under on the day. Back here now at the 12th hole, par 4, 439 yards, Frank, to the center of this green off the black tees. And if the breeze blows left to right, this hole plays very hard. Uh, one of the reasons why, just through the fairways, littered with bunkers. So not only do you have to pick the right line, but somehow you've got to get that ball the right distance as that hole bends completely to the left. Rather interesting shaped green here at 12. This is a stiff test, no doubt. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Frank, that reminds you of maybe what, the greatest bunker player of all time? He has a 12-footer here. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Well, well, well. What do we have here, partner? The par 5, 13th, or is it a par 8? I can't tell. It looks like a misprint, uh, Rich. 702 yards, and not only that, too, they put the two fairway bunkers uh, in the perfect place. Perfect place if they want to annoy your tee shot. It's going to take 310, 320 yards just to get past that. Then you've got a long, long way to go. And, of course, remember when you're on 10? This is the shared green. So 13 and 10, this is where they meet up again at the end of a long, long walk. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, and it's rhythmic at the same time. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Really some strong winds out there today, and we can already see the effects on some of these shots. 
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Looking to make a move. This putt for birdie. Putting up some impressive numbers out here now. Nine under for the tournament. Now to the par 3 14th. It is 240 yards. What a golf course, Frank. I mean, this tests the best in the world. I'm talking about McElroy, Jordan Spieth, and Ricky Fowler. We 700 yard par fives and nearly 600 yard par fours. This is all you want. It certainly is, and that's why the, the total yardage of this golf course is nearly 7,700 yards. This par three, just a beast, 240 yards. One thing you want to do, though, is avoid Lake Zimmer. It's that big body of water to the right. Um, if anything, though, look at the green. It shapes a little to the right, so you can use that left side of the green, which is away from the lake. It's a smart way to play this. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. And getting ready for the putt. Nothing wrong with that par putt. The round continues at Lighthouse Point, and Frank, the 15th hole is a par four, only 387 yards. There's something about a well hit shot. Well, those are good numbers right there. 3 2 0. 320 yards, just crushed it in the fairway. That's a beautiful shot, and that sets him up for a really easy putt. Well, there's impressive, and then there's mind-boggling. We're at mind-boggling now. Ten under par. And another fun hole here at Lighthouse Point. It's the last par three on the back nine as we begin this closing stretch. 241 yards downhill, par 3 16th. Oh, this is right at it. Safely aboard. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Yeah. 11 under on the deck. Well, Frank, I love this par 5 17th. Not only is it fun to play, but if you head over the Juniata Crossway Bridge ahead, you can find Brent's Lobster Shack, which is one of the best lobster rolls I have ever had. And you know they specialize in that up here in Maine. But what a hole. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. This is not hitting in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Frank, he's knocking them down and picking them up. Oh, it's just taking pins out one after the other. This for birdie.
racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Frank, as we arrive here at 18, I'm thinking about uh, what we so often hear up here in New England. You can't get there from here. Or, or can you at this par four finishing hole? Just in that second cut here, only 135 yards to that hole location. It was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Made the green, settles in over the putt. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Well, Frank, round one in the books. Look who's on top of the leaderboard. And that's with some strong play today. They don't really need to look back. Um, strong play hitting into the second round tomorrow. Thank you.